everybody, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo, and today I wanted to share a quick parenting tip with you. Now, I didn't think of this one. This is a one that's been around a really long time, but I think it's important enough that we need to talk about it today. Because before you have kids, you may not even think about this, and that is choking hazards for toddlers and children three and under. That's right, you know, there are two main choking hazards, and that's food and toys. Now food, that's why we cut up the grapes and the hot dogs and the cheese sticks all into tiny little pieces so that our toddlers won't choke on them. But today we're gonna talk about toys. And if you have a four or a five year old that still puts everything in their mouth, you might wanna limit the size toys that you also give to them. So if you have a four year old, I wouldn't be busting out the tiny little Legos if they're still putting everything in their mouth. Here's the thing today. I'm gonna to show you a really quick and easy tip of how to determine if a toy is too small to give to that young child. And this isn't something you need to buy. This is something that you have, and that is a toilet paper roll. That's right, all you need is a toilet paper roll to determine what size toy is too small for your toddler. Now, here's the thing. If it can fit inside the toilet paper roll, it is too small. So things like, Nerf arrows, those are too small. It goes right through. Things like matchbox cars. Some of them are too small. They go right through my toilet paper hole. That means they're small. And you also want to look at your toys, especially the cars, and make sure that none of those tiny little wheels can come off. Really, give them a pull, give them a tug, make sure they can't come off. This is too small anyway. But they do make bigger trucks just for toddlers. As you can see, it does not fit into the toilet paper roll, so it is fine for a smaller child. Also, things like beados that your older children might have. These are these little beads that all stick together. This, first of all, too small anyway, but this also comes apart into tiny little beads. If you pull on it enough, that's a problem. So you wanna look even at the bigger toys, if they have pieces that can break off for smaller pieces that go through the toilet paper roll, that can't be given to your toddler either. Listen, Doug, these kind of puzzles, these are awesome because there's no way those are a choking hazard, so those are really good for toddlers. Um, even army men type of things from the 70s. <laughs> I don't know why I have this, but this is a good one. It cannot fit all the way through. Now, you wanna give this guy some tugs on his arms, make sure they don't come off. But those Lego guys, those are gonna be way too small. Speaking of Legos, Legos are the worst culprits for um, choking hazards. Sure, you can get the platforms that are like this that aren't, but even if the thing makes, let's say you make something in the bigger, don't give it to your toddler, because what if a piece falls off and then you have a tiny little Lego that could choke your toddler? So again, it is as easy as just having a toilet paper roll, just if it can fit, if the toy can fit into the toilet paper roll, it is too small for your child three and under. So that's it for me today. If a toy can fit through a toilet paper roll, it is too small. Um, you know what, share this with your friends because like I said, this isn't something you think about before you have kids, but it's really, really important when you have small kids, whether in your house, going to grandma's, or a friend's house. You wanna keep all of the smaller toy items, the pieces of the games, away from your small, your babies and your small children. That's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want some more parenting tips or reviews, and I will talk to you later. I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo. Bye. Okay, one more thing, guys. Do not Google toilet paper roll trick. I'm telling you, I'm saving you from it because it means a whole different thing on Google. And I was a little surprised, I'm not gonna lie.